Fritz Handley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing, miracle working love. I want to talk to you today about the Lord is there. Let me give you a little description of what we're going to talk about. What battle are you facing today? Is it an unfriendly neighbor, an oppressive government, a financial burden, or a relationship gone south? My friend, God is there, and He hears your prayer. Plus, He sees what you're going through. In this teaching, we will discuss your victory, the answer from God. So let's talk about the Lord is there. In Ezekiel chapter 48, verse 35, the scripture tells us, And the name of the city from that day shall be, The Lord is there. My friend, God is omnipresent. He's ever and always present. But you already know that. What you want to know is, why doesn't God answer my prayer? Here is your answer. You have just not seen the answer yet. In my book, Conflict Healing, I describe several incidents where people had opposed me in my ministry and what happened to them as a result. One lady drove her brand new yellow Cadillac through the back wall of her garage and into the swimming pool. Could have drowned, but for God's mercy. And that was on the front page of three large newspapers. The Los Angeles Times, the Long Beach Press-Telegram, the Orange County, previously Santa Ana, Register. One young man who tried to strike me from behind with a glass ashtray died of a brain hemorrhage in 24 hours. One lady who came to my home and gave a false prophecy about me, her house was destroyed to the ground in 48 hours without one stick protruding from the ground. These are just a few, but several I did not include in the book. God is sending me to help you, my friend, to build your faith so that you will see the answer. Let me ask you a question. Are you in the place where the Lord wants you to be? There is a spiritual place of blessing and a physical place of blessing. Are you at the geographical place you're supposed to be? In other words, where you're living? Are you serving God in the assignment of your calling, that office that God has called you to? If the answer to the previous two questions is yes, then you can sit back and watch the Lord work in your behalf. His holy angels are on assignment. The Lord is there, and so are his angels. But if the answer is no to those two questions, then seek God and make the proper adjustments. My friend, whether you're going into battle or just facing daily challenges, confronting evil or looking to the future, call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shammah. The Lord is there. His Hebrew name, Yahweh Shammah or Jehovah Shammah, literally means the Lord is there. My friend, if you are living for God, he is in control of your situation, but he's waiting for his appointed time to deal with your adversary. Why? Well, there are possibly several reasons. First, he wants to do the best for you at the right moment. He wants you to gain the maximum profit from your investment, assuming you were listening to him when you invested. If not, then cut a deal with God and make a contract as to how much you'll offer to him when he turns the situation around. Secondly, he wants to drive the enemy out when it will be most advantageous for you and also give God the glory. Thirdly, he is preparing your enemy with the decision they have to make to be helpful to you or to reject God's proposal and be subject to his judgment. Let me repeat that third one again. He may be preparing your enemy with the decision that they have to make to be helpful to you or if they choose to reject God's proposal, then they're going to be subject to his judgment. In Ezekiel chapter 35, God explains what happens to those who try to possess what is his, including what is the inheritance that belongs to his people. Let me read to you from Ezekiel chapter 35, verses 10 to 11 in the Amplified Bible. Because you, the descendants of Esau, have said, 
These two nations, Israel and Judah, and these two lands shall be mine, and we will take possession of them. Although the Lord was there, therefore as I live, says the Lord God, I will deal with you in accordance with the anger and the envy you showed because of your hatred for my people. And I will make myself known among them as judge when I judge and punish you. The Edomites would not overpower the Lord's people and could not overpower the Lord's people because the Lord was there. My friend, faith is not just for heaven. It is for now. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If you can trust God to get you to heaven, trust him for the now situation. He wants the best for you. You are his adopted child if you know the Messiah Yeshua or Jesus the Messiah. God is there, my friend. He is there for you. He is there in that situation that's been bothering you. God is there, and he's already planned your victory. Give him the praise. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai. This is your friend, Prince Hanley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing, miracle-working love. <laughs>